Alright, welcome back to the channel guys, it's Kai. So today we're reviewing on set 4729 Double Doors Office, which was first retailed in 2002 for $50 USD, has 446 pieces, 3 minifigures, and it's in absolute premium condition. Look at this box right here, look at the front, the sides, the top, and of course the back over here. Everything about this box is in absolute mint condition and I just can't believe it. If you want to know more of the context of how I got this set, check out the whole video in the link above. Anyways, without further ado, let's forward and fast forward in time a bit with the time turner and let's go on with the review. Okay, this seems like the wrong timing. Let's fast forward a bit more in time. Right, now finally we have this full set in our hands right here and doesn't it look absolutely phenomenal? Anyways, let's go on to the set design first before we go on to the minute figure, shall we? On with this build of this amazing set Dumbledore's office, starting off the first floor right there, we seem to be encountering quite a trouble right there because we cannot open this office for some reason. Oh, I see why, because we never actually gave the password to the Dumbledore's office, which was actually shown in the movie. So if I remember correctly, the spell is actually... Sherbert Lemon. Oh my. The office is actually opening. The scorpion piece right there is opening up, and it seems like this pieces right there is starting to open a gate to its office. That is pretty cool in appearances, and I really like this feature that they added. So, inside the office, we can see that there's two sides of this off, uh, first floor right there, with the locker at the left side, and of course, this very suspicious key and lock it on the right side. So going on with the right side first we can see that all of this attaches right there seems very suspicious and the reason why it's so is because each of this actually carry a printed tile with them. The first one actually carries a nice printed tile which shows a meat piece and a spider piece which is quite nice on this 1x2 tile and otherwise moving on to the one whereby the key is attached to. This one over there actually has a ladder and I'm guessing a ladder is to Dumbledore. Perhaps a lover or as Grendelbo. And then nextly, the third part of this actually has another printed tile which is trans blue in color and has some nice stars and glitter on it. Not really sure what it represents, but perhaps it's a spell of some sort. And next on for the left side over there, we have the nice locker which is able to revolve as you want it to. So you can technically hide the locker behind a wall or otherwise you can show it in front. And of course the locker itself has a nice print as well which I've never seen, which I do really appreciate. And then opening up the locker, we can see another ladder given to Dumbledore, and yeah, pretty nice. And then moving on from that, we move on to the middle of the first floor, whereby we see some of those nice flames over there, two spears at the back as well, which really gives in a medieval vibe to this old castle. And then of course, there's another trick to this middle part of the section, which is that if you want to escape the castle or enter the office without using Sherbet Lemon, all you have to do is use the back door. So this part over here can actually revolve upwards, allowing any character to escape from, which is really, really nice. And I really, really like that feature. And then that's it for the first floor, honestly. Now we move on up to this spiral staircase, upwards to the second floor where Dumbledore currently is. At. In this second floor of Dumbledore's office, we can see that Dumbledore currently is in a pretty serious mood. So let's not disturb him for now and go on to his desk first. On his desk, there's quite a few different details and magical artifacts, such as a magical hat right there, his magical 1x2 tile printed mail letter, this nice trans green brick right there, and then of course this printed book, which is printed on all three sides. Really cool, and I actually own another two versions of this in, say, the Belleville Witch set, and of course the Hagrid's heart as well. And of course, that is not the only secret to this particular desk right here. If you want more secrets, you can just open this desk up and it actually reveals two of this one by one printed tiles that is printed with a book on it. Pretty cool, right? And then at the end of this office in the middle, we can also see the most impressive print of this whole set. Over there, we can see a printed brick right there with different kinds of potions, magical artifacts, and of course, a nice skull over there as well. Really, really cool prints and I just really love it. If you don't want to see this print, all you have to do is basically Flip this around and revolve it and you can see this nice golden key attached over there. Really really cool feature and I of course, I absolutely adore it. And then moving on towards the top of the set, you can also see that the balcony has a bit of details as well. And if you want to see the character properly, all you have to do is really just flip this concrete 
feature over here out and you can see that there's even more space for you to interact with characters. So over here we have Mr. Harry Potter standing over there with admiring the view of say the castle and other than that we can see that there's another printed round brick right there with different kinds of constellation, moon and stars printed on it and that's not all. With this there's another feature which is that if you spin this mechanism over here this spins together with it and it looks really magical doesn't it? And honestly that is kind of it for this part of the interior. So if we look at the exterior of the set we can see that the back looks pretty cool as well and honestly all of the sides of the castle look very well done. For a set of 20 years this is a very amazing set and honestly I would rate it very highly. For aesthetics wise this is definitely a 9 out of 10 just because of the consideration that this is from 20 years ago and it still looks absolutely extravagant and very very medieval. And then moving on to functionality a solid 10 just because of the different kinds of play features put into this and the different kinds of revolving features and just secrets within this set. And now for price to piece ratio for 446 pieces and for 50 USD back then, this is an absolute phenomenal deal I would say. And even if I consider that I bought this for $500 right now, it's still a phenomenal deal considering the size of this set and the height of which. Absolutely amazing and I would definitely rate this an A and honestly that is it for the set design. Now almost to the minifigures, let's start off with Mr. Harry Potter. Now for Mr. Harry Potter over here, what I love most about this figure is honestly the cape that he has. The cape has star prints on it which heavily reminds me of his invisibility cloak which is one of the Deathly Hollows. Otherwise looking to his torso, it's pretty different from the regular Hogwarts uniform this days as well with a nice light grey coloration and of course the Gryffindor symbol on it. The yellow print also reminds me of how vintage this set is. I absolutely love the slight grin he has on his face and that is it for this minifigure, absolutely amazing. Now next for Professor McGonagall, she's possibly the most expensive figure of this set simply due to her appearance in only two sets from back in the day. She's characterized with an iconic lighter green wizard hat together with a nicely printed torso piece and leg suit piece. Really love the prints on this figure and also appreciate how they have actually printed some of McGonagall's hair onto the hit piece right there. Excellent minifigure and I can actually understand why it's so expensive on the secondary market these days. Definitely the best figure out of this set. Anyways, next on for Professor Dumbledore. Though being common among various Harry Potter sets like the Hagrid Heart in 2001, this is a pretty neat minifigure as well with a nicely printed torso and leg piece which can be seen in this pop-up picture over here. The figure also has a purple cape behind which I really love. With that, we end the minifigure section and before I end off, I would like to show you some of these catalogs that were provided for this set showing the different sets in 2001 and 2002, ranging from the Chamber of Secrets to say sets like the Slytherin Common Room, all amazing sets which I hope to get someday at an affordable price and that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video so far and if you like my videos, feel free to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, your support will mean a lot to me and go a long way. And you're now quit. See you on our next adventure and bye guys.